Keith, welcome back to the show. Great to see you. Thank you very much for having me again. So, Keith, tell us about the evolution of Break, and particularly on the monetization side. How are you guys making money, and tell us about the scope of the company now. So, Break is an ad-supported uh, company uh, as a whole. I think over the last couple of years, we've seen great success uh, overall, and I think it's been driven by a couple of things. One, uh, advertiser recognition in a transformation we made uh, from essentially a single property video site, which was break.com, which in 05, which is all we really were, uh, into a true new media company uh, in the sense that we're actively producing, licensing, acquiring content, and then distributing that content across a group of highly traffic sites that we own and operate, as well as uh, a, a proprietary video network that we've built up over the years. Um, and we monetize you know, very effectively because of the <clears throat> large scale we've uh, grown over the years, as well as the quality of the content which we create for the young male audience. Great. So tell us about you know the um, monetization yes. of the video in particular. How does that work? Uh, I know you do branded, you do yeah. in-stream. Talk, talk about that for a minute. So I mean, it, you know, we offer a wide range of options as uh, one would expect. I think what really differentiated us over the last couple of years is our ability to, uh, to create branded content and distribute that widely, uh, particularly for the young male audience, but I think even more broadly speaking as well. Uh, you know, what was it, uh, essentially a very small part of our business uh, a couple of years ago because somebody came to us and said, you seem to really understand your demo, you know, how, what kind of content can we create to reach them, uh, became something where we think we did almost 100 episodes last year of branded content for 25 plus brands. Such as? Uh, such as Southern Comfort, uh, Cheetos, um, you know, a slew of the movie studios, Universal Paramount. So for example, we did something with Kentucky Fried Chicken uh, to announce their new grilled chicken and we literally had the colonel out on the street asking people questions and it was getting grilled by the colonel. In other cases, it's just, you know, this, this episode brought to you by uh, a brand uh, and then the nature of the content itself is just targeted towards the message they were hoping to accomplish. On the other side, yeah, just standard video monetization. Uh, we've built a great business doing you know, all forms of in-stream advertising. Uh, you know, we've seen a lot of increase in pre-roll and, and video bugs. Uh, and I think what's really exciting about this year is there's a, going to be a continued evolution in the type of units that run. I think we're seeing a lot more interest in interactive pre-roll, for example, uh, which I believe will grow from a, a fairly non-existent business two years ago into a real business this year. The flip side of that is, which is you know, sort of scary in a lot of cases, is there's yet to emerge a set of standards for in-stream video advertising that uh, I think everyone can really rely on from a you know, sales perspective. So the benefit of our medium, as I think most people uh, know at this point, is you can do just about anything. The downside of our medium is that you can do just about anything. So the emergence of standards becomes that much more complicated. So tell us a little bit about uh, the syndication strategies that, of the videos themselves. They sit on your homepage. Where else do they go? So in a lot of ways, we function like an old media company in that regard. We've got our own and operated properties. Uh, Break.com, Made Man, uh, Screen Junkies, All of Turns, et cetera. And you know, we syndicate our content across those. Secondarily, we've just got this network of other properties that we work with where we syndicate out content and advertising, uh, whether it's through embeds or specific sections on their site. Uh, and we've managed to, uh, to grow that piece successfully. But you know, we're very fortunate in the sense that our own properties drive enough reach to make the economics of producing content work and the economics of producing branded content work for our advertising partners. So, the video network is really just bonus and it's just a way of increasing the scale. Right. We're the fifth or sixth largest uh, video network right now, reaching north of 50 million people per month uh, and you know, have a potential reach of almost a billion uh, videos a month, so according to Comscore. How are your CPMs and how do you sell advertisers your audience? You know, <clears throat> I think ultimately uh, CPM is a function of you know, somebody has to sell something somewhere. What we uh, did early on was a significant amount of research, proprietary research to, to some extent, and using other third-party researchers to demonstrate the value of our audience. On the video network side, I think what we've seen is you know, CPMs falling into a range of 18 to 25 dollars, generally speaking. Um, and I think that's because they're slightly, you know, they're still targeted, but they're slightly less integrated than they are across, uh, than the campaigns we run on the break media owned and operated properties. So, what's the big challenge for you guys uh, in 2010? We're in a perfect spot as a company, I like to say, because we've got enough people that we can execute on uh, whatever we want, and uh, we're big enough that we can do that, but we're also small enough that we can be nimble. And I think you know, last year we grew from 70 to 110 people. This year uh, we're probably going to grow on top of it. So the biggest challenge is going to be continuing to be able to operate 
in a nimble way, I think, as we become uh, and continue to evolve into a real operating uh, and business. And yeah, it, it's been an interesting transition over the last 12 months to see the processes we've had to put in place. Uh, and, and you know, it's not, it's not nearly, hey, this is a good idea, let's go do it. It's let's model out, let's plan, and let's really think about it, uh, how this is gonna impact our business in three, four, five years down the line. And I think that's both fun, but it's also a challenge as we grow because you know, it's just different than the way it was. And most of the people that we have have been with us uh, from the beginning and to a certain extent. And so you know, it's just a change, change in the way we all think of, of the business, honestly. Great. Well, thanks for coming and uh, congratulations. Thank on you very much. Thanks for having me. Fantastic. Appreciate it.